Oh, my hearties! A very, very good evening to you. It is me, Scotty McClue. Sunday night, nothing gets past me, and of course, it's eight o'clock. That can only mean one thing, and that is Scotty McClue has popped up to say dinky do to you live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great live streaming platforms. Welcome, welcome, welcome to one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment entertainment with me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's most humble man. Lovely to have you with us. Jack has joined us and says, dinky-doo, Jack, first on tonight, pretty good stuff, I say. Who else have we got? Finley has joined us, Finley Morris. Lovely to have you with us, Finley, and a good dinky-doo to you. Uh, Craig Minty and Kane Spar, dinky-doo, good Finley, yes, you waken them up. They will be slumbering in their armchairs. I have absolutely no... Now, I've got great news for you. Wonderful things have been happening. And, uh, of course, a tremendous success during the week with the 10 o'clock in the morning pop-ups. I hope you've been watching them 10 a.m. If it's too early for you, then uh, we can talk about that. Uh, Graham McCallie, dinky-doo, Scotty. Hello, Graham. Lovely to have you with us. Kareem says, hello, Scotty. How's your weekend been? Excellent weekend, Kareem. Busy. But excellent, lots doing. Wonderful Gordon Roddick. Hi, Scotty. Hope you are well. And I hope you are too as well, Gordon. You top man that you are. Take great care because you are a very, very special person. So there we are. And it's great to have you with us. A wonderful supporter of Scotty McClue's pop-ups on Facebook Live. Wayne Watson has just joined us along with Callum McSwan. Everybody gets a wee shout out. We look after you on here, you see. Tom Rivers is watching. Thank you, do, Tom. How are we? No tie tonight. I hope you'll forgive me. So there we are. Excellent stuff. A bit of the open neck for the lock doon. Although we mustn't let standards drop. There will be a tie on tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. I assure you. Stephen Mooney has just joined us. Thank you, do, Stephen. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. So I'll just say that we're live now here. Let them know live now. Um, join us. Yes. For fun and laughter. I think we get a bit of that, don't we? Uh, for fun and laughter. There we are. Join us now for fun and laughter. And uh, I'll also post it to the story. That's going up in the news feed right now, guys. And uh, people can come and join us. Wonderful. Um, Stephen Mooney, dinky-doo. Gordon Stirling, dinky-doo. Kane Spar, good evening, Scotty, dinky-doo. Finlay Morris got you out of your armchair. I know that. Hi, Scotty. I've just had a homemade pizza. It went down a treat. Finlay, you must spill. You must tell us all about homemade pizza and how we go about making it. And if you're very good, we can make a note. So there you are. Wonderful. Homemade pizza. Ended homemade pizza. It's an honor to be first, Scotty. Jack, you say the finest things. You are a top man. I can see you doing great things in life. Absolutely. You know, I've said that to you before. Peter Connolly's watching. Thank you, Peter. Dave Anderson's watching. Welcome, Dave. Lovely to have you with us, sir. You are a top man. Wonderful, Dave Anderson. Wonderful man. Um, so there we are. Wayne Watson says, um, Boris Johnson's returned to Downing Street and has arrived in the back entrance. So there we are. And uh, they're ready to go. Very good. Very good, Wayne. Excellent. Good. Yes, back. Back in harness. Stuart Hamilton, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, you look half-cut, Scotty boy. There we are. Jason McHugh, what, how would you define half-cut? So there we are. That means half of me doesn't look cut at all. <laughs> uh, good evening, Scotty. It's because I've not got a tie. They always say a man with a suit and no tie looks like an alcoholic. So I might put a tie on, actually, just to sort you all out. Uh, Robert Rovers is watching. Thank you, do. There we are. We don't want to look half cut. Casual Sundays are allowed. Graham, is this okay? Is the open neck all right, do you think? Can we get away with that? 
Well, you know, I'll put on a tie if you're all being difficult. Uh, good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. Craig Patterson's watching. Andy McMaster. Good evening, Scotty from Sheffield. Andy, we love Sheffield. What a fantastic part of the world. And uh, Darren Mick and Nicky McHugh, Scotty's live. Come and join us. Yes, if you can all type in the name of somebody that you know is on Facebook and get them to join us, that'd be great. And if we can all share and share and share, that would be even better. Um, Gordon Sterling, too much information, he says. Agnes and I have conceived tonight, hopefully. So there you are. What is your idea, Gordon, that you've conceived? So there we are. I remember hearing that Edison, did he not conceive the light bulb? Wonderful. And certainly uh, Edison did the, um, oh, what are we, the phonograph, the phonograph. Fraser John Edmondson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Alistair King's joined us. Good evening, Scotty. Evening, Alistair. Guys, tie or no tie? It's up to you. I do suspect, yes, I can probably manage a tie. So there you are. Would you like me to put on a tie? Do let me know. I don't want to be scruffy in front of my public. Uh, Gordon Roberts has joined us. Excellent stuff. Gordon says, OMG, Scotty, I almost forgot your 8 p.m. pop-up. Gordon Robertson, nobody in their right mind in the Western world would ever forget a Scotty McClure pop-up. You just don't do it. You know, it's like forgetting to be born. Uh, secret recipe, Scotty, sorry. Oh, Finley, harsh, harsh, savage upon the nation, sir. So there we are. Finley is refusing to release the recipe for homemade pizza. Anybody uh, want to undercut him? Uh, good evening, dinky-doo, my good man. Brian Hall, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. Nicky McHugh, welcome. Hello, Scotty boy. Dinky do, says Nicky McHugh. I'm going to share. We've got to share, guys. Has that gone out there? Yay! So there we are. Come and join us for laughter. Scotty McClure. I'm just going to share and share and share to the big Scotty McClure page. Let everybody know that we are live. Uh, Wayne Watson, homemade pizza. You prove your pizza base for 24 hours. So is this by law? You say, do you have the pizza here? Um, and it makes a great pizza. So you've left it to prove. Very good. So that's not a legal term. That's a master baker's term. I understand. Right, here we go. I'm just going to share this, guys. Let everybody know what's what. So a massive, massive share. Can we all do the same? Um, we'll just have a mass share right now. Let everybody know. Now remember, 10 o'clock each weekday morning, Scotty McClure will be popping up. So very, very important. Never miss a moment of Scotty McClure or you miss a moment of life. And we don't want that again, do we? So there we are. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to send this out to the big one and uh, share to a page. So it's going out to the big Scotty McClue page, which has 6,004 of you have liked it. If you get the chance to like anything Scotty McClue-ish, then get on and do it. John Paul Thruill, Adam Spibby, Spibby, yes, I thought Spilby, but it's Spibby Higson. Adam Spibby Higson, yes, absolutely getting that right. Somebody was asking, said, we never see you wearing glasses, Scotty. Have you had your, um, you know, your, your, your eyes lasered that? No, certainly not. I used to wear glasses for the show, but I don't seem to need them because uh, I can see what's going on. Right, guys, I'm just going to share to the big page. Very important. And as I say, share, share, share. Tell everybody. There's no shame in typing in a name saying, Scotty McClue's live. Get watching. Um, so there we are. Um, Congratulations! Yes! Scotty Live as congratulations! Um, so there we are. Oh. Oh. Capitals, it's going up in capitals. And I put um, Scotty Live now. 
join us for fun and laughter. They won't mind the just the big figure of eight and really fun and laughter. Join us for fun. Wonderful. And uh, put that up. Good. Right. What have we got here? Good. That's going out. Right. I'm just going to share that. Fantastic. Um, Keith Torley, Dinky Doors, Scotty. I think you've been the victim of predictive text. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, Scotty. Keep safe, sir. The wife has cut half of my hair. She walked off and said, you're grounded now. Which half has she cut, though? Robert Edwards. You know? <laughs> God, I love that when people say, I had my hair cut. He said, which one? And that lovely story, which I think you can hear, Jimmy from Toxteth on the YouTube channel, he mentions it and he says, and you'll love this, he says, um, guy goes in with three hairs, he gets the first one cut, he gets the second one cut, and he says, what do we want to do with your third one? He goes, just ruffle it a bit. <laughs> Fun and laughter. That's gone out to the big Scott McClure page. Thank you, Robert Edwards. You keep safe too. Is that Dave Anderson, the actor, Gordon Robertson? I would like to think so. I'm pretty sure it is. We have wonderful people. Anne-Marie Gibson, Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo. Says Gareth Collins. Dinky Doo to Anne-Marie Gibson. A very good evening to you, Scotty. I hope you're well. Just finished some lovely homemade lasagna. See more. Oh, see more is difficult because I can lose the whole broadcast. Um, homemade lasagna. Now sitting down with a beer, listening to your excellent show. I thank you, sir. It is a privilege to do it for you. Dinky do to you and the nation. Wonderful stuff. And do tell 10. Keith Tolley's watching. Alistair King. Dinky Doo. Happy Sunday, Scotty. Richie McCusker has joined us. How fantastic. Guys, I've got an idea I want to run past you. Would you be interested in uh, an evening show, a nighttime show, if we tried it out on the YouTube channel? That's what I was thinking. I agree, if you wear a suit, you should also wear a tie. But you're okay with an open neck shot tonight. Gordon Robertson, are you serious? Because I do value your opinion. And I do have a tie handy. If anybody cuts up rough, we can pop on this. Right? So it's there. And um, it can be added as an accessory. Scotty, you look dapper, mate. Don't listen to them. Thanks, Peter Connolly. You're the nicest man. And I, I, I really value your judgment as well. Graham McCauley. Oh, hi to the knee tie. Thank you, Graham McCauley, in a lovely Scottish way. Uh, Thomas Peter and Sunday pop-up. Dinky do. Good one, Finlay Morris. Get him up. No, you look fine, Scotty. Barry McConaughey is watching. Jack says Craig Downey is getting him up. Nicky McHugh. Thomas Peden, come and join us. Dinky do. Where are you, Thomas? Can we get a shout out for Ely Dean uh, and Con Diggle all stuck in the forest? Dinky do, says Kane Spar. Fantastic. No ties look more relaxed and we don't feel so inferiorly dressed. Wayne Watson, there's nothing inferior about you. Now, you're a highly, highly intelligent man. I've seen your stuff. You and I have had a bit of argy-bargy. Nothing wrong with that. But I've seen your stuff. And um, you are good. So there we are. So never, ever, ever feel in any way inferior to anyone else. Barry McConaughey, good evening, sir. You leave that to me. Uh, Jack says, got to go and have some din, Scotty. Au revoir. Au revoir, Jack. Top man. Oui, oui, monsieur. No problem. Bon nuit. Bonsoir. Uh, Graham Loudon's watching. Jim Wilson's watching. Good evening, Scotty. Have you got sun today? No, I can tan myself, Jim, but just raising a hand, see the difference. So if McClue wants a tan, he just goes, see it? Look at the tan on me. My white hands, but look at the tan. Are you watching? Tan's about to disappear. 
Oh, there we are. As the weekend for a casual, no need of a tie. But do you agree with me we need a tie during the week, Robert Rovers? Because it's a mark of respect for you guys. Uh, Kevin Malcolm McGregor's watching Dinky Do. Carmack McCusker, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Alan Stevenson's joined us. Excellent, Alan. Tasty recipe pizza dough, Wayne Watson. Oh, because Finlay Morris is keeping stum. Mum's the word. Where does that come from, mum's the word? When you, when you go stum, you go quiet. Ah, mum's the word. There we are. What's it? Some, some fathers always say things like, don't tell your mother. Uh, Dan Les is watching Dinky Do. Therese McCann McQueen. Good evening, Therese McCann McQueen. Lovely to have you watching. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you. Derek Walker's joined us. Derek Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, thank you to all of you that have been, um, I'm going to do some more sharing, that have been calling in um, during the week as well. Now, I've got my trusty Skype here tonight, which should work if we want any of the top people to come on. I can only have trusted people on because we had a wee Ned said a naughty word one night. Of course, that ruined the Skype internationally for everybody. So there must be a way around it. There must be a little, um, what was it we used to call it? The delay unit that I used in radio, and it was known as, um, oh, what's the word? When somebody says a naughty word, it'll come back to me, so there you are. Scotty, but one of those wee frozen microwave pizzas that Finley's just had. Gordon Robertson, you're a, you're a troublemaker. My goodness, Finley said he'd made it himself. You know, and we cannot doubt the man's word. Wonderful Rab Hills joined us. All right, Scotty. All right, Rab. One of these, my boy. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. I need to sign into Skype in case somebody wants to Skype me. See if we can get it working tonight. There we are. Because we had the wonderful Paul Francis Carroll, the world's top organist, called in last week. Fantastic. There we go. Right, just bear with me, guys. Because if I can get on to this, we are on a winner. So there we are. Ah, it's so tiny, all this technology. I need a wizard of the big switchboard and a lovable lassie doing all this. Um, because um, my hands are actually... I've got big hands, you know, big hands, and uh, they're a bit large for all this stuff. But uh, let me just pop this in. Yes, you don't have to go quiet while I'm putting this in. You can talk to me. Um, there we go. And I'll pop that into there. Right, now, if this works, it will be a miracle. But uh, if we can get into Skype then it means that you guys can come on and we can have a chit-chat. But you need to be very trusted. So the wonderful Rab Hill. Can you say happy birthday to Ashley Murdoch for Thursday, Scotty? Is this this Thursday coming, obviously, or was it last Thursday, Kevin Malcolm McGregor for a killie? So there you go. Am I right? Wonderful Ian Swanston's watching, one of our great radio people, top broadcaster. Hello, Ian. So there you are. You and I got on fine. I remember doing an interview on your wonderful channel. Uh, no, you don't have to prove for 24 hours in the fridge, says Wayne Watson. Um, overnight, but it's an awesome texture and taste. I was initially trained by Tony Singh MBE. I'm a chef. So are you? I met a guy and um, I thought he was Russian because he said he was a commie chef. But um, I think that means something different. Is that right? Maybe Scotty, how are you? I had a gammon and cider as well, my wife was cooking. My wife's cooking gets better since lockdown. You're going to be on bread and water, chubby, for the rest of the week. 
<laughs> the wife's kicking gets better. Mark Hampshire, dinky do. I've just shared to my pal Ryan in London. In it, in it, Gordon. Yeah, let's get Ryan on, Gordon. Good for you, la. Right, there we are. Tam Ravage, dinky do, Alice King. What do you think of Trump and his disinfectant suggestion as a cure for COVID, Scotty? Well, do you know, to be absolutely honest with you, I was more disappointed in the press because there's a side of Donald Trump that they're missing. He's effectively a bit of a shock jock. And I don't use that term for myself, but he's a bit like a shock jock in his... Uh, he says something, then people get shocked. But I was rather appalled at the press running away and writing it. And I was watching his... Was it his medical officer of health or somebody? It was a lady. And the face on her when he's saying it, she was... You know, she thought, where's he? Where's he coming from? You know, that sort of thing. So I think that uh, people have to realise that Mr. Trump makes an attempt as well at humour and sarcasm and all these little tools in the box that's not normally employed by the President of the United States. So there we are. So I think we'll just have to get used to it pro tem and see if he gets in for another term. Uh, Jonathan McAllister, I'm apolitical, as you know, so I'm not saying anything either way. Or to put it in Scottish terms, I'm no saying ehe or ohe. <laughs> Wonderful. Jonathan McAllister, welcome. Susan Forrest, thank you. Stephen Menzies, Jamie McDougall, the legend Scotty McClue. No, Jamie. The legend Jamie McDougall. Now, I have been told I have a very fine tenor voice, but I can tell you it is not even a patch on yours. So you are the legend, sir, and I salute you. And I also love about your lauder. So there you are, you're playing Harry Lauder in the footsteps of some of our greats. Um, Jimmy Logan was uh, Lauder on the stage, and um, who else? Jim and Logan. And um, there was a guy called Alec Finlay and his royal clansmen, and they used to be great theatre entertainers. We had them at Grampian Television. Alec Finlay and his royal clansmen. We Alec Finlay. Lovely comedian, wonderful man. And uh, there's a picture of Alec Finlay. I think it was the Queen... Now the Queen of Princes Margaret, Alec Finley was meeting, I think it was the Queen. And uh, you can see him at the Theatre Royal in the early days. And uh, Alec Finlay was a great lauder coming on with the wee stick. And I saw Harry Lauder's walking sticks up for sale. He had a house in the Bullwood in Danoon, Lauder Vale. He had an estate at Glen Branter up near the Younger Botanic Gardens. Uh, just uh, along from Sandbank at uh, Danoon. He had Lauder Hall in Straven, a big country house that he built, which I think is still to the fore. And he's uh, buried in the Bent Cemetery in Hamilton. And at his funeral, the Glasgow Orpheus Choir sang. And my mother was at his last concert in Pultalach House in Argyll, the home of the Malcolms, um, now of Duntroon Castle. But they, they had a huge big mansion. The roof came off it in 1959. But this was 19, I think it was 1948. And uh, Harry Lauder was singing at Pultalach House. And people were sitting right up the great big stairway because there was a pipe, a full pipe organ in the hallway at Pultalach House. And Pultalach House is roofless, but still standing. Beautiful, beautiful stonework. A great big house. Carlton Moore, the big house built in 1848, and it lasted just over a 100 years. So there we are. And the lady that was in Pultalach House, the daughter of the Laird, the Laird was Sir Ian Malcolm. 
And then after him came his son, Colonel George Malcolm of the Argyles, who started the military tattoo in Edinburgh. And his daughter was Mary Malcolm, uh, the first television announcer for BBC Television, Super Lady. So there we are. Mary would be 102 if she was still living. Uh, so there we are, Jamie McDougall. How's that for a wee lesson? Hello, Scotty. Thomas Hamilton. Do you tie a wins or not, or even a half wins or not, when you wear a tie? No, some of my ties are quite tiny and they're not, Gordon Robertson, to be quite honest with you. I must do some sharing, guys. You've got, honestly, the whole lot of you. You would just distract me. You'll talk me to distraction. Uh, so I'm just going to share this. Uh, what am I sharing here we go, here we go. This is lovely, and we'll get it shared. Guys, if you can all share as well, because McClue's on. Hope you've had a good day, pal. Scotty, do you still have problems being cut off on Facebook? No, Jim Wilson, I haven't had that. I'm very glad to say, but I got some new equipment. Some beautiful people donated me a few fivers and some twenties and stuff, and I can do a little bit of advertising with it. A lovely, lovely man. He knows who he is. Donated some last week to paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. So that's it, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. You'll see it's another name I use, but it's quite legit. And if you've got a spare fiver or something, stick it into that because I can buy equipment and I can advertise and we can just build the streams. Uh, so there were so no problems, Jim. Facebook has been very, very good. And we must have had over 40,000 people have joined us in the morning pop-ups. So it's well worth doing. And a guy arguing with me this morning and he said, is it for us, though, or is it for you? And I had to explain to him, he said, you seem to be living in the past. And I had to explain to him, this is nothing to do with the past. This is absolutely right up to date. So we're doing a live show now. You can't get much nearer the future than that. I actually firmly believe that with a view to talk on the internet, Scotty McClure was ahead of his time. And I think my day will come. So that's what I believe. I think that this will go very, very big when people get the hang of it. So there you go. Your eye well dressed when your bonnet's on. Gordon Robertson, fair point. Right, guys, let's get this sharing done. What we're we sharing? We're sharing to share on a page you manage. There's five of them. We'll share to, um, we'll share to Right, that's it. That is it. Have you ever had people do that? They come on, they go, right, that's it. And you think, what's what? You <laughs> said, you know. Um, my father used to stand up. He, he never liked to sit for long. He was a very busy man. And um, he never liked to sit for long. And he used to just stand up and go, right, this will no pay the wages. And go, yeah. And he went away out to work. He was a very, very hard-working man. And my father was also a man of very few words. And he used to say to me, Son, see what I just did there? So there we are. He's a man of very few words. Um, right, Kareem says, I have you on in the background. I'm having a workout on my home gym. Yeah, I do that, Kareem. I do all that stuff as well. Star jumps the lot. Fantastic. There we go, winding me on watch. Nikki Harvey Winning is watching. How lovely to have you with us. A privilege, Nikki Harvey Winning. You are a star. David Treasurer is watching. Another star. One of our wonderful broadcasters. One of the nicest people you could meet. So there you are. Welcome, David. Lovely to have you with us. A great privilege. And um, who else have I got? Stuart Hamilton. Thank you. And he's Stuart Swan. So, Stuart, what we'll do with you just now, we're a non-swearing show, so we'll delete your comment. But obviously, if you swear again, Stuart Hamilton, then we will have to just bin you off with a lifetime ban. And we don't want that again. 
The kitchen smoke alarm hasn't gone off since lockdown, says Derek Walker. Do you know, Derek Walker, I had an alarm in the hallway, and I thought to myself, this thing, I wonder if this thing actually works. And um, I took it down, and it needed a new battery. I put the new battery in, and I was having a wee sliced sausage one morning, and the pan got a wee bit hot, and you know, you go, ho, 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 and turned it down a bit, and suddenly, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. For what on earth is that? And it was this wee thing just going berserk right away. Very, very good, very efficient. Just a wee plastic thing on the ceiling. And off it jolly well went. Alistair Bajack's watching. What a gentleman. Darren Adam, says Stuart Hamilton. Good. So Stuart, we're non-sweary, just so that you know. We've been the swearers off. But you can stay on because I'm sure you didn't realise. Constructive argy bargy Admit I can be controversial with my comments and thought process. Good Wayne Watson. You keep that up, my boy. That is excellent. A bit of argy bargy A shout out for Anna Anderson, Scotty. John Anderson. John Anderson, we shout out. Anna Anderson. Dinky doo. From Scotty McClure. Did you hear the guy shouting on uh, Andy, um, Andy Murray, when he was in Washington, D.C., and an international Scotty McClure fan shouts from the terracing, Dinky do, Andy, from Scotty McClure. Wonderful. <laughs> right in front of the world's media. Could you tie a bow? Of course I could tie a bow, Joseph Scummy. One of these old bow ties and look the part. Shout out for Scotty. Cody McMurtry, there we are, Cody McMurtry, dinky do. shout out for Scotty McClure, Cal Carlos Donnelly's watching, dinky do. Thomas Hamilton, share pal, top man Thomas, as a mark of respect, when it was the Queen's birthday recently, I made sure I had clean underwear on, I think it's important to be respectful, I also think so Gordon Robertson, good for you. I remember somebody saying you should always have clean underwear on and you say, why? They say, well, you might get hit by a bus. Now, what's the first thing you're going to do if you get hit by a bus? Absolutely. Yes, Scotty, this is Carl, Carlos Darnley. See, si, Carlos. Um, buongiorno. Uh, Mum's the word is a popular English idiom. Ooh, very, very fancy, Wayne Watson. Uh, it's related to an expression used by William Shakespeare. Ooh, even fancier. In Henry the Sixth, Part Two. You sure it's Henry the Sixth? No, Henry the Fifth. The word mum is a slanged version of mom, M O M M E, which was used between 1350 and 1400 in Middle English, with very close to the same meaning, be silent, do not reveal, mom. So mom's the word, not mum. So it's, it's, it's become um, turned into that. It's um, metamorphosed. See what I just did there? Um, God and Robertson, profanity. That's the word I was looking for. So I'm needing a profanity device. And we need to find out if there's one for, um, pardon me, live streaming. Because if there is, then we can do something about it. Okay. A profanity button. And I need a profanity device. An expletive, says Alistair Bajak. Yes, with a gentleman on earlier who did an expletive. He would have been better doing a retentive. Ian Kerr's watching, Alex Hall is watching, one of our finest broadcasters and top actresses. Alex Hall, welcome. So there you are, from Yorkshire, is that right? Have I got that right? Um, I got that from Wikipedia for your audience, as it was a very good question. I love the origin of words and phrases. Well, Wayne Watson, hang on to your hat. Because William Shakespeare brought us lots and lots of phrases, much ado about nothing. 
He brought us Coriolanus, not to be confused with coronavirus. Two gentlemen of Verona, not to be confused with two gentlemen with corona. So there we are. Peter Connolly. Seen today, somebody was annoyed about Boris Johnson missing five air emergency Cobra meetings. Imagine if that was Nicola Sturgeon. It turns out she missed. No, Peter Connolly. If it turned out she missed. No, I'm not saying that. Don't believe that. Um, share, share, pal, says Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. You're a top man. Wonderful Maggie McInnes is watching. Dinky do, Maggie, and welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Stephen Lipton, Dinky do. Any relation to Tommy Lipton, the grocer, Stephen? Hope you've had a good day, pal, says Thomas Hampton. Thomas, you're so kind. Yes, I have had a lovely day, a busy day, but I spoke to some beautiful people on the telephone. So, you know, very important. Brian Wilson's watching one of our top, top broadcasters. He's right up there, top shelf broadcasting. Wonderful stuff. Welcome, Brian. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue and from everybody else who knows your wonderful work right across central Scotland. Michael Yule's watching. You know what they say about a man with big hands? Oh, yes, Wayne Watson. Big gloves. You know what they say about a man with big feet? Big shoes. Uh, thanks, Scotty. Yes, it's this Thursday coming. My birthday, of course, is June the 20th. I'm sure that date's important for something else, though. Kevin Malcolm McGregor, June the 20th, is a very, very, very important day indeed. And I think should be a national holiday just before the summer holidays. Scotty, a big shout out to Ryan Allison in Stranra, please. Tommy Purdy Allison, of course. And a big shout out to everyone in Stranra. How fantastic. The wonderful Don Franklin is watching. Welcome, Don. Lovely to have you with us. You are a very, very, very skilled lady. And thank you for letting me see Hazel's um, live concert the other night. Hi, Scott. It's my birthday on Tuesday. Declan Connolly, Natalie McQuaid. Let everybody know, guys, can we have a massive share again? This is important. It's got to be a biggie. There's no point in just doing anything half-hearted. You haven't fed me back. Would you be interested in uh, an evening show on YouTube for two hours or even for one hour? An experiment. Can we shout out Dundee's favourite son, Cy Ferry? Please, Scotty. Well, we'll have to uh, do a Dundee accent here. Eh? Um, I'm staring. I'm going to hear a play. And uh, I'm going to shout out to uh, Cy Ferry. Eh? Think that's best. Eh? Can, so there we are, Cy. If you're listening, can shout out for you, eh? So there you go. Scotty, can you give a shout out to my girlfriend, Lauren, who's working on the front line, saving people? I can. Lauren, we send thank you to you. We send love. We send strength. And we say, Carl Carlos Donnelly, wonderful. Uh, Wayne Watson, a commie chef. Red, red Wayne, the commie chef. I like that. I'm a commie Chef de partie, but I haven't been working as a chef since February 2019. It's stressful, and I haven't found the right place. What was that? It's just gone off. Very strange. Uh, something's just gone off, and we don't know what it is. I don't think it was the. Um, I don't think it was the fire alarm. Uh, but I haven't been working as a chef since February 2019. It's stressful. And I haven't found the right place or environment. It's a changed industry these days. I worked with two lovely, lovely gentlemen that owned an hotel. And their chefs were absolute gents or ladies. They made everything on the premises for the hotel. So when you arrived, you were offered a glass of champagne and tiny little pizzas and pot pie, beautiful, tiny, miniature things. And you were just made so welcome. And they had very high standards. There was no swearing in the kitchen uh, or in the hotel. 
and uh, and they asked they actually asked a lord to leave one night because he'd sworn in the uh, in the uh, you can't really call it the lounge can you in a in a very nice hotel what would it be the sitting room the drawing room the drawing room of the hotel and they asked the lord to leave because he'd said i swear to what uh, Green and Scotty, I hope you've had a good day. Thomas Hamilton, Dinky Doo, and you also have to ensure there's no bullying in the kitchen, you know, because tempers can run high. Have you ever seen uh, that wonderful film, um, Ratatouille? Oh, I know it inside out. Uh, Green and Scotty, I hope you're having a good day. We have, Thomas, thank you. Stuart Hamilton, will you be drinking bleach then? No, nobody ever should do anything like that. Do never, ever, ever try anything like that um, because um, you would kill off yourself, so it could lead to death. Uh, if you look at any of these bottles, there's a big crisscross, a big poison mark on them. And um, you would, so you could kill off yourself and that would be the end of you. The other thing would be the end of your uh, internal system, which runs on bacteria. So I say to everybody who's a little over the top, be very, very careful with chemicals, okay? Gordon Robertson, <clears throat> whether you like or don't like Trump, he very effectively works everybody from behind. No rudeness intended. Gordon Robertson, of course not. That's a saying Scotty McClue has. Uh, are you working me from the back? You know, like a ventriloquist dummy. And he's very good at working from behind. Dinky do Scotty, says the lovely Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Neil Tipping is watching. Neil Tipping, perhaps one of the finest wizards of the big switchboard you could ask for. Neil Tipping and I saw in the millennium on Century Radio in the northwest of England, based in Manchester, the year 2000, New Year, and we both saw it in together. I think I've got a picture of that, Neil. John Gordon Sweeney is watching. What a top man. Dinky do. Paul Mack, what's your views on the vaccine? We will either have to take it or be forced into poverty as getting jobs, etc., will be near impossible without a health passport. Uh, Sturgeon. Yes, I think, I think the First Minister has said we'll be in for a form of lockdown till a vaccine's available. What if you refuse to take it? Will I be forced? <clears throat> it depends what this vaccine's about, what's in it, and what it's due to cover. So there we are. Because some people could be allergic to the vaccine. You could be giving somebody COVID. George Newton, Dinky Do Scotty, my favourite film, Sunshine and Leith. Well, that comes, what's yours? That comes pretty high up, George Newton. I'm a big fan of Sunshine on Leith. Peter Mullen there, fantastic actor. Did you ever see him in the film War Horse? Excellent. Peter Mullen, wonderful actor. And Sunshine on Leith, you know, um, it's everything's bought and paid for, isn't it? That's the big one. Hugh Beatty's watching, Dinky Doo, John Jack. Thought you were pan breed. How are you, you old roaster? Now, why would I be pan breed when I'm just a youngster in my 30s? Well, it can happen, of course, nowadays. You don't know what's round the corner. Share, pal, another share, Thomas. What a top man. I'm going to do the same. Quick, 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 quick. Get sharing, guys. This is no joke. Share. Have you all shared? <coughs> I uh, can't wait till tomorrow, Scotty. The old classic Yamaha motorbike is off to the paint shop. Should be ready to get her back in a few days, all nice and shiny. Now, Alistair, tell me, as a top engineer, do you not usually attempt to paint yourself then? Do you tend to say, no, no, I'll, I want this an absolute spot-on job and send it off to the paint shop? Is that just the wisest thing to do? I'm going to share in a group guy. I'm going to share in one of the uh, the big groups. Just tell everybody what's happening. I've had to work all this out myself, you know. 
And, uh, and I did find out the other day that not everybody gets to see Scotty McClure's pop-ups because that's just the way the platform works. So, Alistair, good luck with that motorcycle. Wonderful. Gordon Robinson, dinky do. My grandfather, Harry, was a friend of Sir Harry. I have a framed photo of Sir Harry with the signed inscription, Fe Harry to Harry. I used to have it up on my wall. My first name is also Harry. Wonderful. And my great uncle was Harry, Uncle Harry, who sadly died in a road accident between Campbell Street and Greenock Esplanade, uh, and his motorcycle went under a bus in 1936, and it was a Douglas with a square tank. So there you are. But Uncle Harry, and he had a car as well. Lovely man. John Jones is watching somewhere here. John Jones. Wonderful Jane McDonald's watching. Dinky Doo Jane, a top lady. Wonderful. Thomas Peden, Dinky Doo. Dinky do, Scotty. About time you appeared, Thomas Peden. We were getting concerned about you. Leonard Brown's watching, Dinky do. How are you, Watts? No bother. Carl Carlos Donnelly. Dinky do. Thomas Peden says, John Marshall, are you joining us? It better be. Uh, guys, remember we're on 10 o'clock sharp each weekday morning. So 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, McClue will be popping up with his lockdown special just to talk to every one of you. So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook just for you each weekday morning, 10 o'clock sharp. What did your father do, says Wayne Watson. My father was an engineer, Wayne Watson. He was also a top, top musician, a great Scottish violinist and a classical violinist. And a uh, wonderful man, so there you are. And uh, tot, tot, totty tot, 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 Stuart, quite right, Thomas Peden, you tell him. All right, Scotty, says the wonderful Rab Hill. I am Rab, better for knowing you're out there, chum. You take great care of yourself. Stay very safe. All right. Uh, evening, Scotty, this is Andy Hughes. Wayne Watson says, my, uh, good evening, Andy. My smoke alarm went off for the first time last night in the hall and the kitchen. I was flash frying peri peri chicken strips after having a beer. It was loud. I was more concerned about the neighbours than the house burning down. <laughs> You're an interesting one, Wayne. I have to say, Nicholas Gitve, Jaitve, Jitve, Gaetve, Nicholas Gaetve. Nicholas, how do I pronounce your name? Help, help, please. Lovely name. Uh, and where are you from? Kareem's watching. Do you think our first minister looks very tired? She's doing a grand job. Well, I think she looks excellent. I would think she would be bound to be tired because it is a very stressful job. She's on call 24-7. So, I mean, the wee soul could be giving it zeds for an hour or two. And, um, you know, suddenly her pager or her phone, or doot, 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 doot. Somebody, ah, yes, could you speak to the Times or whatever, you know? Uh, Margaret Sheldon, hi, Scotty, I'm late. I remember John Major saying that he could come out of a cabinet meeting and the press could descend and say, what did he think of what had just happened? And he didn't actually know what they're talking about because he'd just come from a cabinet meeting. I think people don't realise how busy first ministering or prime ministering actually is. And there's always a civil servant, if you see, if you get a, a quick swatch at them in Downing Street or whatever, there's always a civil servant needing a signature for something or some to check something with the PM. Hi, Scotty, I've been late having a video chat with my family, Margaret Sheldon. You never, ever, ever have to think twice about having a video chat with your lovely family. Your excuse boots from Scotty McClue. But I hope I'm part of your lovely family too now. Jill McKee is watching. Hi, Jill. Dinky do. Welcome. Um, I'm still out breaking the law. You'd better not be, John Marshall. So there you are. We will not allow it. Coriolanus. Never heard of it, but it sounds painful. Oh, God and Robertson. You don't want that again. Era Shera. This is John Marshall. <laughs> Thomas Peter, June the 20th is the day the Ice Age ended. Yes. 
and uh, somebody very, 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 very famous was born on that day. Try and find out. Went to change a light bulb the other day, but I realised I had a bright idea and dropped the bulb. Alistair King. I remember working on an MFV and it was a Friday night in the winter and working outside on a boat, even if you're in the, one of the cabins, we were down the engine room and we're trying to repair something. And we were working with a naked bulb on the end of a cable with a bulb holder because it was a great way to actually get proper light. And somebody dropped it, and of course, it just went out, plunged the place into total darkness, and, um, you know, quite uh, quite dangerous. And we had to go way out the boat and get another bulb and all that up the ladders of the engine room. YouTube, yes, there's many differences between YouTube and Facebook. Oh, Gordon Robertson, yes. But I just thought to myself, from point of view of everybody seeing it, you know, because, you know, one of the platform, this platform, for instance, you, you don't know if everybody's seeing it or not. Sometimes I said, did you catch the pop-up? They said, well, I've not seen that. You know, so it just depends on what's going around the conveyor belt. Uh, Cy Ferry needs to get Scotty McClure and his Open Goal podcast. Thomas Peden, I think he does. We need to get on a broadcast, eh, Ken? Uh, Murray Ravage, an absolute gentleman, is watching. Evening, boss. Stinky do. Evening, boss. To you. Always lovely to have you along, Murray Ravage. You're a top man. Guys, the time is flying in. <laughs> Pardon me. I was trying to cross the road the other day. Big guy came up and said, Here, mate, there's a zebra crossing up the road. I said, Hope he's having better luck than me. Rab, I see what you just did there, you top man. We love it. Sleek as dinner as we beastie, says Ron Morrow. We sleek it curin, timorous beastie. Oh, what a panics in thy breastie. Thou need me start a wassy hasty with bickerin brattle. I would be leave to run and chase thee with murderin prattle. Turning over the nest of a field mouse. And it's true, I went into the kitchen one night, put the light on. Oh, fright your life. A wee moose. And he just disappeared. And he was gorgeous. He sat up first, he went. Phew. I don't know where he disappeared. So there we go, in behind the washing machine or something. But he was gorgeous. And I thought, oh, yeah, poor wee Timorith beastie. Uh, more people will tune in on Facebook, I would think than YouTube, it isn't as big for this sort of stuff. But Thomas Peden, what I was thinking, could we not grow a big streaming audience, or are we better just sticking here, and once everybody finds out it's on and sets their notifications, then we do it from here? I don't know. <clears throat> it's a thought. I was, I'm also thinking maybe getting some kind of burner phone or something that people could phone in on uh, and have a chat. But we don't want the idiots. That's the problem. We don't have, and there are no idiots watching this stream right now. There are no idiots. We have had them on occasion, but they usually push off. Try a sweary word, get banned for life. End of. Uh, Ron Morris watching Dicky Do. John Marshall bleached to water five years gigging with him in Spain. You never drank water once. That's Thomas Peter. I never had so much nonsense in my life. Never, ever try that at home. We also never consume bleach. And more importantly, do not consume Donald Trump's advice. <laughs> Sound advice, Wayne Watson, on both counts, I suspect. I demand professionalism, says John Marshall. Well, you've got it. So there you are. I've been accused of one or two things, but never being unprofessional. Uh, we were locked on stage, says Thomas Peden. Tony Max watching Dicky Do, Gary Campbell, tune in. I'd love an evening pop-up, Scotty. Well, Finlay Morris, if we can get the word around, I mean, it's which platform to actually put it on. This platform has served as well, but I do know that I get limited 
um, just depending on how many people are actually seeing it. Uh, so there are. DC Amaro, get this on, Dave. Thomas Beedon, dinky do, long shanks, Leonard. Uh, Thomas Beedon, no, says Gary Campbell. <laughs> Thomas Beedon, you were murdered when I got sacked, says John. OMG, still irritating. Mary Pleasance, why are you still irritating? You must stop that. So there you are. And who are you irritating? Evening, Scotty, says Tony Mac. Evening, Tony Dinky Doo. Hope you're keeping well, Scotty, says Nicky McHugh. Ron Morrow is Scott FM, still on the air. That's where I first heard you. No, but do go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and put in Scotty McClue, Scott FM, and you will get some fabulous stuff coming up. Bit of um, film about the station, all that's wonderful. But Scott FM is now, I think, the franchise is hot radio. Would that be right? Uh, get in touch with me, Scotty. I can give you advice on how to make better use of this. I'll help you promote better. Thomas Peden, I have to say to you, you have done a very, very good job. I know there was a couple of things last week we didn't quite see eye to eye on, but we are bigger than that. And, um, you know, you really have been very, very good and you're a great sport, great fun. There we are. Peter Wood, dinky do. Hope you've not been giving me Duff Gen, though. Um, yes, but this is a custom paint, Scotty. £400 a litre for the paint. So you can't afford any mistakes. Not that I make any, but the bike's special. It deserves the correct treatment. No, Alistair, I wasn't in any way implying anything about your painting skills. I would think, like all your skills, they will be outstanding. But at £400 a litre, you want to get the paint job right. My goodness me, £400 a litre. Harry Crumb, come and join us, says Nicky Mark here. Good for you, Nicky. Hello, Fish Shetland, says Peter Wood. Uh, no. Uh, I've naked a Shetland accent. Um, I, I, I have to change my O's to my R's. Is that right? Uh, so you have uh, da, da, da 40 fiddlers. Used to hear uh, a record a lot. So there we are. Love it. I need to learn. Uh, I do have some beautiful music, Peter Wood, called The Shetlander, a fiddle duet. And of course, um, we have Violet Tuller up there, and we had uh, the great Willie Hunter, and that Ali Bean. Oh, Shetland fiddling, how wonderful. Uh, my, I remember my father telling me my father was sent to Norway with the paratroopers. They were dropped in in 1944. And I can remember watching... Um, the film with Kirk Douglas, Heroes of Telemark. And I was sitting watching it. My father liked the sound quite quiet. And he's puffing away in his pipe. And, stuff. and I thought, this man was there. I'm sitting with somebody who was there when the, uh, the Germans were making heavy, the Nazis, I should say, were making heavy water. So there we are. And um, <clears throat> brilliant film, of course, Heroes of Telemark. Uh, Kurt Douglas in it, and who has Michael Redgrave. Wonderful actors and actresses in these things. And uh, a lot of big, big names in it. And um, we were talking about, now what was I going to tell you about there? It's gone out my head. Something about uh, sitting with my father. And I was, oh yes. And he was telling me <clears throat> about um, being shown, a, a family showed him a Norwegian fiddle a hardanger, and um, I think the Shetland fiddle, am I not right in thinking, shares some of its characteristics with the hardanger fiddle, Norway. And I also knew a man very well who was a naval officer in the Second World War. Two things had happened. One, he was one of the early ones into Belsen, and he saw Belsen. And another thing, he was also helped to crew the Shetland bus, taking... Um, the spies back and forward in a fishing boat from Norway. How wonderful. Very, very dangerous work. Scotty, in regards to the top class paint job, you need a booth and the 2K clear 
is lethal. Is that like two pack paint? So smart to give it to the paint shop if you don't have proper respirators, etc. Although a body shop did a terrible job on my car. I could have rattle canned it better myself. Uh, thanks for joining, says Thomas Beden. Nicky McHugh, dinky do. Thanks for the reminder, Nicky McHugh, you're a gentleman, uh, says Thomas Beden. Uh, Scotty, my man gets a wee hackle on that bonnet. A wee hackle, yes, Stephen McPherson. Uh, Kareem, I totally agree with you. Proud to have Nicola as our first minister. She's excellent. Thank you, Gordon Robertson. As you know, we're an apolitical program. Um, Mary Pleasance, don't like you. You're false. Where on earth have you got that from, Mary Pleasance? There is nothing false about Scotty McClure. The genuine article, I am he. So you take that back. And uh, you don't have to like me as long as you love me. Uh, Margaret Sheldon, you are family, Scotty. I won't be late in the morning. Promise the kiss. <sniffs> Margaret Sheldon, you're lovely. What about Mary Pleasance? Your voice is irritating. Well, Mary, let's hear yours and we'll compare them. Give me a Skype, Scotty Dr. McClure, and come on and let's hear your voice. And then the nation will decide. It's the only voice I've got. Uh, what do you think of the criticism Donald Trump is getting? I think he needs to actually listen to the advice of medical experts. He was crazy to suggest people taking disinfectant. Tony Mac, I think we have to agree. What is it about my voice that's irritating you, Mary? Do say. Maybe McHugh. Mary, if you've nothing nice to say, please keep it to yourself. Nicky McHugh, fighting McClure's corner, I thank you. Uh, who is she that says you're irritating? Oh, she's joking. Naughty girl, says Margaret Sheldon. Yes, Margaret, you tell her. Stop being so rude, please, says Finlay Morris to Mary Pleasance. Uh, I agree, Morris, says Margaret. Yes, yeah, so you can't say something nice. Say nothing at all. This is a better time for the show. The bucky's flowing, says John Marshall. <laughs> I think you had. Colin Gilmer's watching, an absolute top man, one of the greatest men I have met in entertainment. David Lafferty is watching. Colin Gilbert brought us many of our wonderful, wonderful top comedy shows on television. Wonderful man. David Lafferty is watching another wonderful man, Margaret Shelton. Fiddley Morris. She, she, she spelt it Morris. I'll speak to you tomorrow, Scotty McClure. Have a good night, says Karim Zachariah. Yes, it's time I was away. The time is flying. Do you want a tune on the uh, pipe organ before we go? Right. I've got one. I heard today, and I think it's fabulous. Now, I need to show you this, because somebody mentioned last week, they said, Scotty, you could be faking it. Could you show us the pipe organ? So there's the pipe organ, guys. Are we ready? Right. <clears throat> for a Sunday evening on the old pop-up. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll have to push off now because that's, that's all you have paid for. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely to see you all. Please take great care of yourselves during this lockdown. Stay home, stay safe, stay beautiful, stay fabulous. And join me, Scotty McClue, 10 o'clock sharp tomorrow morning, Monday morning, right here, live on Facebook Live. 
I thank you. Let's build the stream here if that's what you want. But we need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Hokey cokey. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says the wonderful Esther Piggins. Kelvin Allen's watching. David Laughter says, good evening, young man. Hope everyone is well. And you, David. Robert Burns is classic, but I can't spell half the words he came out with. I need to get to my bed now. If I want to be sure I'm up in good time to get washed, shaved, and appropriately dressed to see, see you pop up at 10 tomorrow morning, and I shall be wearing a tie, Gordon Robertson. To all of you, my darlings, bless you all. Take care, sleep well, and dinky-doo. Ha! Ah!